Alright, hello everybody, this is Granistar, and welcome back to Mega Man X from the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Last episode, we finished off the Spark Man and uh, Flame Man. So now we're gonna. Oh, Armored Armadillo. I think on the last episode, I called him a snail. I don't know why I thought it was a snail. Oh, Crystal Stale was in Mega Man X too. Anyway, so we're gonna go through and start off with these guys. I don't know if I've ever, like, really... I don't think I ever noticed it as a kid, but now that I'm playing through these games again, um... I'm realizing how quick these levels are. Alright, I'm away, I'm away, I'm away, I'm away, I'm away. Anyway, so yeah, I'm noticing though, like, this is not a long game. I'm not a speedrunner. I don't think I could ever be a speedrunner. Uh, there's just too much math and um, all that fun stuff that would require me to focus on things that I would have no idea how to do. And I know it's all about practicing and, you know, going out and just trying it, but maybe I just don't have a desire to be a speedrunner. Of course, I don't play these games any different than I did when I was a kid, so maybe as a kid I was on that stuff. I look back and like seeing things like glitch videos and stuff like that that I knew about as a child, or but I didn't know were a thing until now that I'm an adult, and I'm like, oh, that was a glitch? I mean, I used to do that all the time. I, I thought that's what the game was supposed to do. <laughs> ah, fun stuff. Um, I, I say um too much. I know that. And I apologize for that. It doesn't... doesn't instill a lot of confidence. Or that I have a lot of confidence. But in reality, it's just that I didn't realize what I was actually going to start off my sentence with. <laughs> Alright, Sparking Andrew. I just automatically assumed that he was automatically uh, invulnerable. Oh. I'm actually using a timer this time. So yeah, that episode. Uh, I'm sorry. That level took three minutes and forty seconds, and I had no idea that the game was actually that like quick. All right. I think that's a pretty fast-paced level anyway, just because of like the roller coaster and everything. Alright, so we're going to move on to Launch Octopus. Launch Octopus is a... It's a slower level. Oh, didn't realize I hit that. The only one I never really got for this game was... Uh, Boomer Quanger. And I guess a Quanger is a type of bug. Never understood what anything just say Boomerang Beetle. I don't know if I've ever seen a Quanger in my life. Probably a Japanese bug. Come 
one. Cool. I've got a lot of holy crap. I got a I've got a I've got a lot of free guys in this game for this playthrough. Which I am definitely not used to. I love missing that giant shot, you know? No, charge up for 10 seconds and be like, whipper. I'm wondering if those did a lot of block. I had just already weakened it down. other robots if those robots aren't going to do anything. I think they'll through the water really quickly. Holy crap. Wow. I don't think I've ever got that in a single shot before. Penguin. I can play this game like any day. I'm sure everybody has seen uh, Eagle Raptors. Uh... Wow, yeah. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen Ego Raptor's sequelitis about Mega Man X and the fact that it is so popular and I guess is now actually being used in schools and video game production and stuff like that. But uh, I have to concur with everything he said. This game really is just freaking awesome. And it actually makes me wish that I had had more action or, you know, fast-paced games as a kid. Because I didn't even have Contra, for crying out loud. I guess Ninja Gate... Uh, yeah... Yeah, I guess Ninja Gaiden was actually technically my first, like, action game, per se. No. Somebody didn't... Maybe this game just isn't nearly as long as I thought it. I guess as a kid, you don't really have a perception of the time it takes to get through a game because you're just so enthralled with the game. I don't know. But I mean, this could actually be a really quick series. <laughs> Maybe I'll make each of these videos 15 minutes. Well, that's all going to change anyway once you get the Sigma Fortress because then the levels are a lot more, a lot longer. Um, yeah, not something I ever really take into consideration as a kid. How long, how long the level is? I, I mean, I think to me the longest level that ever existed was. Uh, is it? Is it 
seven four in Super Mario Brothers, or six four. One of those castles has a. Uh, you have to take a specific path, or else it just repeats uh, endlessly. And um, I thought that probably was the longest level in the world because. I don't know if I actually ever got through that level as a child. Because you just use the warp zones. And everybody knew about the warp zones even in the 80s. Huh. Something I have to consider. Did I ever beat that level? Like, come on. That was about 12... Oh, no, I haven't even reached 12 minutes yet. That's crazy. I'm debating if I want to... Ah, uh, let's just do Quanger. Whatever the hell is Quanger. Alright. Oh, I kind of lost, uh... No idea. This one also had really good music in the level. And I know that there's a method of being able to get the heart tank without actually using... Stop it. And honestly, I'm not even sure what the... Oh wait, yeah I do. Reminds me of the uh, level in X2 where you have to go through the uh, security lights. Which I don't like stealth games. Oh, fine. Wow, finally, I actually hit something with the charge shot. I've been continuing through, uh, Bloodstain, because I'm at 99% of the castle explored, and I don't know what the total amount is, And but knowing uh, Koji Itagashi, it's probably like, you know, 120 or something, or 200, you know, 201% or something, just n not a proper fra uh, percentage, but after going back through it, I'm, I don't know, I don't know what I'm missing on it. And that's going to be something that I'm going to be exploring at some point as well. Though I did see that the that there was another not uh not ritual of the night, but another blood stain that was in the 8-bit Castlevania style that I actually haven't tried. Oh, come on. Game's, game's slowing down because it can't handle all the awesomeness that's going on at the moment. Vertical platforming. Never been a fan. on the dark thing first. Oh. 
sure there's an easier way to do this, but I thought it was actually on a pixel perfect jump that I have not been able to accomplish yet. Oh, okay, we'll just come back. Now we actually have four minutes left. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna use it. <laughs> nope, wait. Get back in. There we go. Hit the energy tank. Maybe if I would actually destroy the things that are on the screen, I wouldn't be getting hit with so much game lag. Or maybe if I just stop sucking. You know, I'm just mad at him. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill him anyway. Alright. Let's kill Quanger, and we'll call it here. Alright, Quanger. Now we have only one left, and then we get to farm for the rest of the energy tanks and heart tanks, and then the Hadouken. So we will call this episode here, and as always, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought a couple times there on that episode, but oh well, we will move on to the next one. So as always, if you're enjoying what it is that I am doing, by all means, feel free to hit the subscribe button so that way you can catch the videos as they come out and hit the notification so you never miss one. Also, be sure to leave me a comment and tell me some about your past gaming experience and what type of genres you're into. What have you been getting into lately? What games are you playing right now now that Animal Crossing and all that fun stuff is out? So as always, my name is Grandistar, and happy hunting out there, and stay, ha uh, stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs>